Time to head back to the courtyard. Got the battery in the crank. I'm gonna carry the shotgun for some time. It's all I'm gonna need for a little while. The pistol's not gonna be doing much good. Ah, damn it. Fuck this. Move. There are healing items on the other side of this. Okay, progress along like normal. No hunters here? No hunters here. Wow, amazing. Progress along like normal, then go and... Um, put the battery in. It'd be awesome if somebody could remake this. Well, maybe the Resident Evil 2 remake they're in the process of making won't have any of sort of the loading doors. Alright, battery in. Take the elevator up. says. Eh, whatever. That replaying wolf sound effect is kind of annoying. you cranking if the thing hasn't gone down yet? Man, this thing filled up fast. And now we can get through. Before I make that final step, though, there's... I think there was one green herb I left behind here. It's gonna snag that up. Nope, they're blue. What a depressing place. Okay, it's the wrong crank. Gotta go find the right crank. We don't have to do the 
five flamethrower puzzle. I mean, the, it is an irritating thing that it is an extra puzzle that you have to do as Chris, but at the very least it gives you a moderately capable weapon that you can use in this area. You don't have to worry about burning through your ammunition for the irregular weapons. Jill just sort of has to use the weapons she has. Still, though, given the two, Jill's is easier. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? What? Oh no, I'm alone. But why are you asking? Listen, the stars are going to be finished soon. Someone is a traitor. How did you get in here? Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ah! Oh. <coughs> Enrico! Yes, Enrico. I wonder. Yeah, don't bother investigating. Shit, I don't need that. Fine, take it anyway. It's got a gun too, but don't bother with that. There's the other crank. Get up. Oh, I think I'd know better by now. That was down here. Is there anything down here? Oh, that's right. Hmm, first aid spray. What? <laughs> All right. That was annoying. Ah oh, shit, I didn't get the uh I didn't get the crank. <laughs> I got the crank, but I didn't get the crank. At least that one's dead. Still another hunter in here I want to avoid. Ah, it's getting kind of irritating. So, oh, shit. Run past my mark. Let's not bother taking out these first few. Died twice. Jeez, I wasn't expecting to die at all.
Yeah, you, you, were, you were done, Jill. You didn't have to keep cranking. Gotta get the workout in, I guess. Another plate for the, uh, for the fire puzzle. Flamethrower puzzle. I don't have room for that, those flame rounds anyway. Now I do. But that was unnecessary. And is this going to be a hunter running into the room? Come around the corner. I'll blow your face off when you get here. Come on, running out of patience. been a waste. <laughs> what, that, is that behind a stone wall? How's anybody ever supposed to get through here? Alright, here we go. Could it move on that many legs? Damn spider hatchlings. Now, it's a pretty cool idea that the little ones come out of the big one and you got to deal with them, but in the end, it's really just an irritation. Oh, that's right. I think I can just reset the room and they'll be gone. It's like, now nah, we're not going to make you bother running all the way back out to pick up the knife. We're just going to give you one in this room. I think I got a save room here. Yep. Wasn't poisoned. Pretty sure in Resident Evil 2 that would have uh, worked. Oops, still got flame rounds. Pretty sure this is really only given to you for the sake of taking out the spider, but I'll take it anyway. No flamethrower thing, so I can just advance. You would have had a flamethrower for that spider, and taking out the spider would have been pretty easy with the flamethrower. Hmm. 
you know, I'm not sure if I actually need both cranks at this point of the game. What is propelling these things? Alright, that was the second one. I guess I could take it back. Okay. That's all. Right, this is where I thought it was. See, look at that. The way that thing's turning, like the little hallway that it empties into is traveling around with it. You know, if the animation wasn't so damn long, this wouldn't be as much of a pain in the ass. Yep, yep, this is it. I need the hexagon one again. You know, this is stupid. You tell me you couldn't, you could push that thing the way, as good as easily as you could, but you couldn't pull it away from the wall without some bizarre contraption that, for some damn reason, exists in the wall here. It's made out of stone. It's got a metal crank to open it. In order to get this. Doom book. Alright, that's it. I think I'm done in this area. Just gotta head back to the save room. In order to... It was a map in this for this area here, but by the time you reach this part, you're pretty much all the way through it. So that seems like a bit of a waste of time there, just pissing people off. Of course, by this point, once you got here, Chris would have to give up his damn flamethrower. So, the extra weapon that he gets is sacrificed, so you can continue. Stupid, I think. All right, where's the other? Where's the other one? I guess it's possible to actually have made it this far into the game without picking up the other metal from the picking up the metal from the mansion. So you might be this far into the game, then have to turn around and go back. And that would of course be a pain in the ass. You have to backtrack all the way to the mansion in order to find something that you just didn't pick up before. I guess they figure that while you're in the mansion, you're going to be searching every damn corner of the place. But still. Up oh, 20 minutes. 